All right, good evening. We're going to do some uh, three dimensional stars today. Um, pretty fun, um, interesting little little ditties that we were doing. And uh, so these are kind of fun. Anyway, I was playing around with them, trying different things uh, to see what I could come up with. I actually did do one with the with the uh, butcher paper, which is quite nice. Um, very delicate and a little bit harder to put together. And you have to kind of figure out what the dimensions are to get that going. But anyway, so it's just going to be a short little session because uh, I'm sure once we once I show you how to do it, it's going to be like you just go gangbusters. So um, I'm going to switch over to the uh, hand view so you can see what I'm doing and we'll go from there. So let me just see what I can do here. Um, Oh, of course, it's not showing me the thing I need. Okay, let me try something else. Oh, it's, you know, I'll have this down. I won't even need Bill eventually. So. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be so sad. Poor Bill. Yeah, I know. More, poor Bill. More gaming time. More, yeah. Well, he's on a phone call today. So, okay. So what we're really doing um, today is we're going to fold these stars and we're going to make like an, a, little, a little accordion out of a sheet of paper. So all I did is I took um, photocopier paper and I cut it in half lengthwise. So I have these nice long sheets. <clears throat> and I just thought that was, it's a good uh, proportion to start with. Um, you can play around with it again, if you're gonna start using like colored papers and stuff like that, but it's pretty simple. All you're gonna do is create an accordion. So how you do that is you fold your paper right in half And hopefully I've cut it straight. Well, you know, it doesn't really matter. Snowflakes are not perfect either. So, and then each side of those, you're going to fold in half again. And then each of these sections get folded in half again. And I wouldn't worry about which way you're folding because you're going to accordion it later once you get your preliminary folds in. And then And then once you have all those folds done, you're going to fold all of those in half one more time. So just so that you end up with a nice um thin accordion. So I've got all these thick ones right here. And now I'm just going to go through and I'm going to fold them in on themselves too, just to create my accordion. <clears throat> That's what half of origami is, is measuring, folding and measuring, measuring with folds. So how many creases should I have? How many folds? Um, eight. Okay. Eight going one way. 16 going both ways, right? Does that make sense? So I think I got to fold one seven. more time. No. Because I have seven. seven. Seven going one way and eight going the other way. OK. So, but that's okay. We're going to even it up. I only have four, so I must have to do this one more time. Yeah. You want to get it right. So, so that is a quite a thin accordion. Okay. Hmm. Everybody's busy folding, <laughs> concentrating on folding. <clears throat> I 
How are you doing? Are you talking to Leslie or to me? Either. <laughs> to both of you. I'm getting there. So then I just got to make sure all my folds go the same way. My connection isn't working very well. Oh, yeah, your picture happened the other day. Okay, so once you have all your accordions, what I want you to do is cut off the last, the last one. Just cut off that last fold. So you just have a little strip of paper. And keep that set to the side because you're going to need it. <clears throat> and then once this is all in an accordion style, what you want to do is just you're going to do sort of like a preliminary fold in half. You're just marking where that half point is because that's when you grab your stapler. Because I think I put that on the sheet. Yeah, you did. Good. And you're just going to staple right in that crease, right in the center. <clears throat> Sorry, could you show me the stapler part again? So you're going to fold the whole thing in half so you know where the yeah. center of your thing is. Yeah. And then just take that stapler and try and get that staple as close to the center as you can. Oh, sorry. I'll take it off the screen there. So I've got my staple right in the center of my folds. Got no staples. <laughs> I may need you to backtrack at some point. Uh oh. Because I keep. You keep which? I'm not hearing you. <clears throat> Can you believe that? I have no staples. How could that be? No. Oh, I think I found some. <laughs> you did. Oh, good. Yeah, oh, good, because I'm. It'll make it much easier for you. I'm sure it will. I mean, I think I did one without staples, but I think it's better with the staples. It just gives it that little bit more. I might have done a couple without staples. Does this one have staple? Okay. I can't tell. Yeah, that one does. Okay. Oh, we lost Leslie. Okay. All right. So now's the time you're going to start to design your, your cuts. And you can take this strip of paper, you could fold it in half, or you could just start cutting, but cut only one side. What you're going to end up with, so what you're going to do is you're going to design going to cut. What's wrong? Yeah, you're just having a hard time tonight. And then what you're going to do is you're going to cut that design in half of this little piece of paper. And I'll show you why. I'm going to use this design that I have here. I'm going to take it, sort of line it up. And I think I said you needed a pencil. No, of course, I didn't bring one. Okay, here we go. With your pencil, you're going to just sort of trace that design so you know where you're cutting. Because you need to mirror the other side, right? You can't cut all these pieces. You can't fold it in half and cut all the pieces at the same time. They'll just never cut right. So I've drawn this right on this side, and now I'm going to flip it over and mirror it on this side so that I can trace it out so that my design is all facing the same way. And I'm just going to use this as a template for now. 
And then if I decide I want to change it, I can do that too. So it's very, you know, simple, but you can see where my lines are. It gives me a guideline to start to cut. So then I can start cutting and And paper goes everywhere. And it's hard when you're cutting through this many sheets of paper because it just sometimes it squishes on you. So sometimes you have to make a couple of cuts to get it to sort of lay flat as you're cutting. So my internet connection has been kind of crummy this evening. Yep. So I've got as far as my little accordion doodad. So now yep. I'm going to look for the center and staple it at the center. You need to cut a strip off first. Okay, what do I cut off? Oh, one, one little strip? One, one little strip off one side. Okay. And that's going to be your template for what you're going to cut. Ah, uh, got it. Okay. Do a little you design do, on it. Yeah, you can do a little design or you could cut one side of your thing and just, you know, cut whatever you like and then trace it onto that so that you can transfer it to the other side. Okay. Sometimes when you cut these, you kind of have to sort of overcut to get that point where it like crisscross your cuts so that you don't get sort of dull corners. I think my cat's over on the couch there chasing his, playing with his tail. <laughs> he loves to play with his tail. Like a dog. Well, you're not entertaining him, so. I guess not. He got to entertain himself. <clears throat> Missy's probably upstairs. Yeah, she's with Bill because that's where he is. Everybody has their own cat. Yeah, in this house, it seems. Mine's sleeping in her basket. So are there any rules in particular for coming up with a little design? Well, I do like putting the points on the ends just because I think they look pretty when, when you have the ends pointed. Um, okay. The one that I'm cutting out right now is this one that I have in my hand. And so as I look at it, I think, you know, I might do some more extra cuts on it because I feel like there's just too much. Like I can't see the design as much because I think I need to cut more. So I'm gonna probably cut a little bit more on this one. See how delicate I can make it. You just need to leave, you need to leave some edges that have folds, right? So that they sort of accordion out. Oh, hopefully. Ah. I, I bet I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just another experiment, right? Yeah. Oh no, there's a little bit that's. See, I'm taking, now I'm taking a lot of the projects that we're doing and doing them with the seniors. Oh yeah. And I'm wondering if this one's gonna be too hard for them to cut. Might be because it takes a bit of strength, right? Going through all those pieces. Maybe just stick to the regular snowflakes. Maybe, we're gonna do that in a couple of weeks. <clears throat> Did 
Did you get your couch listed for sale? No. I kind of just didn't do much this week. Kind of makes sense. It's hard when you're sick. It's like, you know, like I was sitting there and I was thinking, I don't know how I'm ever going to do anything. Because <laughs> I'm really just not doing anything sitting on the couch and I just don't have the energy to do anything. And I don't think I'll get the energy back. But then today, here I am, I'm doing stuff and I'm like, oh. But that's your body telling you, telling you you need to rest. I guess so. Okay. <clears throat> So I've kept the basic of my, of my template that I did. So there it is right there. But I think I'm going to go back in and I'm going to do a few more cuts just to change it up a bit from what I just did earlier. So <clears throat> I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do, but I think I just want to but I, you know, if I'm going to go sort of freelance here, sort of changing things I got to make sure that whatever I do on the one side I, I do on the other side or else I'm going to have half my snowflake one way and half the other way How are you doing, Leslie? Did you do the template thing? Is it working for you? Yes, I did. Okay, good. Did my little, it looks like Rick Rack, and <laughs> we'll figure out if it, if it works. I've transferred it to my little paper, and we'll now send paper flying everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I can see this being a real pickle to cut. Yeah, it's, you just have to go slow and little, little, um, you know, using the inside that, the inside of your scissors, right? Not the tips. It's the only way you're going to get these cut properly is the inside bits. Ooh. Okay. I, okay. What did you? I want to. I want to open mine up. I'm okay. waiting. <laughs> oh, you're waiting. Okay, I'm almost done. I'm just gonna finish this one, and then we can. I'll open mine. Yes. I have a couple that I cut too much, but that's okay. That's, that's a right. live and learn. Yeah. Okay. So once you've got your your preliminary cut, or all your cutting done that's when you want to start to open it up and see what you end up with. And you're going to like, like you open one side first. Come on. And you're sort of bending it down around that staple so that it starts to open up a little bit. <clears throat> Holding it over the staple. So I've got one side done and then I'm going to open the other side. And folding it, you know, against that staple. Whoop, I just ripped mine little bit of a thin cut there on that one side but that's okay that's what glue's for okay good i don't have yeah. my glue up here but that's okay yeah i've got a few that are just they didn't they cut better on the one side than they did on the other side all right this one i think this yeah it's like i lost one of my folds must have cut it off but that's okay, because that's what I can, I can sort of fix it with the glue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue 
one of these edges to the other edge. Sorry about that. That's all right. And I'm not being too precise with the glue. I'm just do, tacking some points. When, when I did the, um, the butcher paper and I did it much smaller, I just could just, I had to just tack right at the edge of the cut to, to be able to show it a little bit more. Whereas these ones, I, you know, I can, I can put two pieces of paper together and it's, well, I guess it's not great either. If you can tack it at the edge, then that's better. I put too much glue on mine. Okay. I'm sorry, did you glue it all the way from the staple out? No, I just, I'm just tacking the bottom edge of each of those. Okay. I want them to, to be not and I'm obviously not holding my face the right way because they're not sticking. <clears throat> so I just, I'm taking points, like the two lower points, and I'm going to just sort of put them together. If oh, just okay. There. Gotcha. So I'm just sort of holding them together so that they look like they're a fold, but not really. Okay. Well, I don't have my glue, so I'm going to hold mine up and show you what it looks like. Pretend. Oh, that looks really nice. Except right there, I have to glue that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, and I have one here where I think I, I lost my little fold. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue there and tack that down. No one will ever know. No, they Except won't. You guys. It's like tack it and hold it. Yes, they will know because it's recorded. It's recorded. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, so I'm just going to let that side sort of set a little bit. Okay, and then I'll start doing the same thing on this side. This is the side I ripped. Oh my goodness. I tried to get too delicate, I think, with it. I'm just going to put the glue in a couple of spots and then bring together that edge. Whoops. That edge. Get in there. So did you say you think it's easier to do it with the thicker paper than the butcher yes, paper? I think so. The butcher paper is really nice though. It's like it's very thin, but it is a bit finicky because you have to be really, it's so delicate, right? Right. And I had some, I had to figure out proportions and stuff because with the, with a copier paper, it's just easy, right? You just cut the paper in half and you've got a nice proportion. So, right. <clears throat> where's that? I have a colored board. I have one here. Where did I put them all? Just a second. Okay, so here's the one I just did tonight. Oh, pretty. So, and there's the, it's the same design, but I did that one the other night. So I tried to get a little bit thinner. You can see there's less paper, mm -hmm. more cutting. I actually think I like the one with the more paper. Yeah. But maybe. they're both really pretty. Right. So they're just, yeah, it just depends on how delicate you want to get with it, right? Mm hmm So yeah, this one has a nice sort of look to it. There's the, the butcher paper one. There's another one I did, but there's hardly any cuts on that one. It just doesn't seem very exciting at all. <laughs> In my opinion, it is. So, and that's like, you know, when I did my template, where did I put it now? Oh, this one, because I did half of it with, that's the one design. That's this design. Well, this one, I guess. And this side is this design. 
because I, oh, okay. I only needed to do because I knew I could just turn it over. So you could do the template that has like go right across. You could just fold it in half and do your cuts and then you'll have your template. But I was, mm -hmm. you know, I just did two. <laughs> of course, that's what I did. So there. And then, you know, I've seen people where they've taken them and they, they put them on strings and you could have like a whole line of them, like a garland almost with them. Or just hanging them from the window and it might be kind of fun. Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> so I don't know actually if you need to cut that extra one off. I'm going to use this. I'm going to try one without cutting that extra piece off. And see if that makes a difference for my second one that I'm doing. Because I can't just do one. Of course you can't. What do you think I'm doing right now? Oh. <laughs> I'm folding again. Folding again. Mm. Leslie's pretty quiet. Is she busy concentrating? She's also so this, is a, oh. this is a real bear cutting. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit thick. <laughs> I'm, I'm not happy. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be perfect. <laughs> and I, and I managed to tear a piece already. I'm not yeah. sure where it was. I could feel it go and it was like, ah! There's glue for that. Glue uh, for tear. Yes, there's going to be a lot of glue. I think the design, just doing kind of a back and forth rick rack thing is maybe not a brilliant idea. Oh, oh, when I fan it out, it is kind of interesting. Oh, it looks lovely. I can't see it. Oh, here. No, you, I think you can I see where I tore it. That's where yeah. I tore it. That's where you have to use but a little bit of glue. Oh, you I can't see, see it. Can you see it, Brenda? No, I can't because you're okay. on. No, we can wait till the end. No, because I'm gonna just, I'm gonna replace the spotlight there. Okay, Leslie, show. Okay, you should see my lap with all these pieces of paper. So this <laughs> oh, is what it's doing. That but looks you, and good. This is the tab, but you can see where I tore it. So that's yeah. where I tore. Look it. how beautiful it's gonna be when you get that glued together. Oh yeah. Great. What does your template look like that you use? It looks like, honestly, it looks like Rick Rack. It's just ziggity zag. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I it at the end so that it would have a point. Okay, now I get to try the other side. Oh my goodness. Ugh. All right, I'm going to turn mute on again because I make too much grunty noise. <laughs> That's okay. Well, apparently I drew the rent, the template on the other side and had forgotten that I had. So huh. I just saved myself a little bit of effort. There you go. I think a little teeny tiny pair of um, very sharp sewing scissors mm -hmm. might be really good for this because I find that the that this these guys are pretty clumsy. Yeah, but I'm worried um, that the the like the sewing scissors. I don't think they. I don't know if they would go, like, I don't know if they would go through all this these thickness of paper. And you no, shouldn't you'd have use your sewing one, scissors one, to cut paper. <laughs> yeah. I, well, and I, I don't do that. I do have a like a little tiny super sharp pair, and. <laughs> Know if I were willing to sacrifice them, um, yeah. they might work pretty well.
Yum, banana bread is ready. Oh, good. <laughs> smells really good. It smells nice and warm. Oh, I know. It's like comfort food. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's probably why Scott's friend will drive across town for it because he has nobody to bake for him. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's nice of you to do that for him. <laughs> He's a good kid. But there's one for us too. Don't get, I'm not giving them all away. <laughs> oh, of course not. You can't do that. I'm nice, but I'm not that nice. I'm trying curves on mine. It's not easy to cut curves. Ugh. All right, am I done? All right, here comes the moment of truth. I'm sort of folding it right up against that staple as tight as I can. It's not bad. I don't mind that. Okay, I'm gonna get my glue going. Again, I have another one where I've overcut a little bit. I've lost one of my little folds, so it separates. So I've got to kind of put it together. I've got several that I've, they're sort of hanging out there on the one side. I 
<laughs> they're not staying together it's like trying to get it to stick together and it's just when you glue the two you know when you're flipping open your fan and you're connecting each side do you just you just do a little bit like just at the points where the fold would have been i guess that's where you glue it mm -hmm. i missed that detail before are you guys still seeing my hands yep yeah okay. All right, I, I, I just, I, all I'm doing is I'm just gluing the bottom edge, the bottom edge of that, of those two pieces together to make it look like it's a fold, but it's not really a fold. Yeah. And I don't think it matters whether you've cut that extra piece off or not. I guess that piece, you know, that you used as a template. I think you do have to cut it. No, I don't think so, because I'm doing it here and it's just, it doesn't really seem to matter. I'm just, they're both being glued on the bottom. Oh, oh, I, I, I guess. I, like it doesn't matter, I guess. On that first one, probably I was gluing on the bottom and then the other side of the, because I didn't have, oops, I didn't have like an even number. Interesting. I think my folds need to be much better. Like, well, yeah, they're okay. It's, Not like anybody's going to see them, but I think it would make a difference in seeing where you're cutting. Yeah, I think so. It would be know. easier if, yeah, they can't, but they kind of squish because you have so many folds. Now you could try doing it on a shorter piece and see maybe you don't need this many little things, right? Like certainly the one that I did with this one, I don't think I had near as many folds. You can see that there's less folds in the little um yeah, a lot like fewer. I did one. Oh, let's see. Where's my there's my edge. So that's one, two, three. Yeah, you know, it's maybe three or four folds with this with the thinner paper that I did. So we could try that if you want to try one that's smaller. Let me get a sheet of paper here. What if we just did it half the size? Is that, you know, big enough yeah. to, to do it all the way around to, to open it up as a circle? To expand the, uh, each little ray, each little fold point. A is kind of more. a chair, are this many folds you get some very wide areas and very narrow areas and i think if you have fewer folds that might be a little more cooperative cool though it's really cool well right you know and it's this this that's sort of you know, that's what I love about doing this with you guys. It's that, like we sit here and it's like, okay, well, what if we try this? And what if we try that? And it's like, oh. So next year, when we do snowflakes for snowflake month, <laughs> you guys will have to remind me what we did. <laughs> and you oh, sure. know now that I'm going to have to make a whole bunch of these and hang them in my window. Of course. And we want to see pictures, Leslie. Mm -hmm. not not that i want to encourage snow by any means no this kind of snow we can handle it will do what it wants whether mm -hmm. i yeah okay so i just used half the number of folds i'm going to go back to my first template again i kind of like it so you just your piece of paper isn't as long yeah i just took my the photocopier paper and I just cut it in half right so I'm doing that okay and maybe that would be easier to do for your um art for the group. seniors yeah yeah because it won't be as much to cut yeah yeah 
Look at us go. Uh. Oh, Bill's coming down to check on us, see if we're surviving without him. Are you surviving without me? No, Just not barely. at all. <laughs> hey, you probably didn't know this, but Elizabeth isn't there. I know. She's not I'm feeling well. Aw. That's so she too bad. She sent me a message, but I couldn't get down here. I was on the phone. Yeah. Hi, hey, Bill. Hi. Do you guys miss me? Sure. Very Karen's doing an awesome computer job. Well, it's about time. She's had an awesome teacher. <laughs> yeah. Well, it certainly is easier to cut. So I could yeah. do it this size with the seniors. So that might be a better choice. It's also, yeah, it's not, um, as I'm cutting, it's not splaying away from me as much of course because it's thinner okay i did another one it's just not glued oh it's beautiful but I it's not very it. delicate. It's just no, but it looks really oh. good. It's beautiful anyway, right? They're just so what kind of template did you use? I kind of you hold up your template. Me? I kind of yeah. did yeah. what you did. You did the Rick Rack. Just your version of it. Yeah. Wow, cool. Interesting. I thought yours looked really neat. So I thought I'm gonna try that and just make sure I put more space in between. So I don't cut my folds, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that one. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could put these in your window and then people would be like, well, those are different, right? They won't, they're not the normal snowflakes. Mm -hmm. Not that we're really doing normal snowflakes anyway, because of some of the things we're doing. I pulled out my snowman stuff on Sunday and there in the top of my box was my snowflake from last year. <laughs> there you go. Yes, it's that time to start decking. Yep. Okay. Are you unfolding? Maybe Karen, with the seniors, you use a whole piece of paper even and make really big ones. Yeah, that might be good. I'd still have to cut it though, because the whole piece would be too, I don't know, like I don't think that's the right proportion. Might need to thin it up still. But yeah, I might try, maybe I'll practice some smaller ones and see what they are bigger ones and see what they look like. Yeah, I'm just thinking if you use the whole sheet of paper and folded it and I don't know, that they'd be really help. big, but then they I imagine they have some their door. big windows there. Yeah. <laughs> and they'd be less intricate for them to cut. That's do you true. need to pick up fishing line so that you can run it through and give everybody a little piece of fishing line so they can hang it over their little door plaque so they can hang, dangle on their door? Well, I'm sure I have something that they could dangle. <laughs> do you think? I, I might have something in my collection of a billion things in my room. I thought you were Unless gonna... it's in Sydney's room. Unless, yeah. Then it could be gone. Unless, yeah. That's where my crochet hooks were. I was looking for all yesterday. I don't know why you didn't just start there. Start where? In Sydney, same time. 
well she doesn't usually do arts and crafts and sewing and stuff so I was kind of forgot that she had borrowed them okay so here's one that I just did I do actually kind of like it smaller like here's I haven't glued it yet but and so how much of a piece of paper was that or what? that was a quarter of a sheet of oh wow copier paper right so that's so you took the long strip and you just did this I think that it will open better I think it opens more yeah and you folded it less I folded it um to the same size so it's half half the folds of the other one okay I wanted the 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 edges to be the same sort of thickness as the ones that I'd done it looks like stars it does look like stars the way I have that it's a very patriotic feels like a very patriotic snowflake or okay let's see if this one cuts any better yeah I, oh, think I like the, it with the smaller ones I think you get to see the design a little bit better you do mm -hmm. right yeah I like it just gluing all those edges mm. come on get in there <laughs> okay so next week we're doing snowflakes <laughs> more snowflakes yeah i got another snowflake for you until you get it right <laughs> and is that, is that the toilet paper roll snowflake it is so it's 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 coming back to something that we had already done before where we did the 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 toilet paper flowers but we did them with mod podge we're not using mod podge mm -hmm. but um using toilet paper rolls and cutting them and then just reassembling them oh i love I it love except right? mine are all brown i only have one white toilet paper roll so i'm gonna have to figure out <laughs> you coming over again? do you need me to leave a little pile on my chair for you again <laughs> perhaps to give my nephew a hard time again <laughs> Oh, is that yeah. what that was? was my son, right? Leslie. Yeah, so that was where he wanted to stop to to walk up your. I thought he was so perplexed. Like, <laughs> yeah, very surprised. What? So that was I my. Have a... Go ahead. I say, Leslie. That was my son. We were in Calgary that weekend. Oh. And Karen left those papers for you. And then all of a sudden, Sydney came home and she was bringing them in the house. And I'm like, no, yeah, no, 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 you've no. got to put those back outside. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. So anyway, I thought these were quite quite pretty. I mean, yeah, the toilet papers I rolls I have aren't, they're not white. They're kind of a grayish color. That's um the Purex uh, toilet paper rolls. <laughs> Good to know. Mine are brown, right? So. <laughs> well, and I don't mind the brown ones, but the last few, um, packages that we've gotten they've been this sort of gray color and I just think they're really pretty but you don't have to stick with that and I might still play with them a little bit this week um, because I have seen people put sparkles on them oh fun so there is I mean you could do lots of different things with this once you have it done you could spray paint it silver or oh, spray paint fun. it right and and to make it look a little bit more Christmassy or use sparkles on it and stuff like that but this is just the base toilet paper um put, putting it together it's a little bit of a headache putting it together but they're so the way I've cut this quite thin and it's very delicate looking they're very delicate yeah. very pretty yeah really cool so yeah I thought that would be fun for us to do because it is sort of Again, you know, I love taking a project that we've done before and what else can we do with it, right? And I think that's part of our creative process. So yeah, we are kind of repeating a little bit right now. I haven't found anything new to do yet, but I will. So, 
I will. There's lots left. <laughs> I do have a question. Yeah. Like a, uh, I need feedback thoughts. So I worked on my snowflake <laughs> thing. So my board changed quite a bit color wise from where it was. I really yeah. liked the red that was in here. So I added a lot of red. I made a big area of mud and then I covered up the mud, yep. <laughs> you know, covered it in white and then made more of the purpley stuff. So as you purpley blue, you can see this. Oh, it looks lovely. You can see can it I very see well. It? Oh, you need to see it here. Oh, it? Yeah. Just, uh... I don't know, cause I'm on my iPad. I can't like, I see you in the bottom corner and I see your desktop. Oh, Leslie, that's very pretty. So, what I've got, I've got this guy. As soon as I put it on the red, it became a whole lot less visible. Yeah, but you still- And then I still have one, one little one that I still have to affix. Okay. And I just sort of like asked for some feedback before I kept going. Well, it's, I like having three, right? Because three yep. is, a, is a really nice um, sort of balance. natural balance. Um, but I do like the fact that the one on the blue is very visible. That's almost like your focal point. The other one yeah. with being the red and is a little bit quieter, that's okay. Because think about your P, your composition as having a main actor and then um, follow up. Um, yeah, supporting right? actors. Supporting yeah. actors, right? So think of it that way. That one on the blue is your is your main main focus. The other ones are just mimicking it. Right. Okay. So you don't want them as prominent. So I think having them on the red like that, it's going to be really pretty. Okay. That's okay then. Okay. You know, when you, it's like I kept adding paint to the board because it wasn't to a point where I liked it and it was a little too light and I, it needed to kind of, yeah. Okay. And so I finally got to a point where I liked the board. And then as soon as I clear, put the, uh, not the Mod Podge, it was the what gloss medium, gloss medium yeah. on the board and stuff them down. I was like, oh, where'd you go? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I was they do kind of disappear a little bit. Disappear. Yeah. Anyway. I can see her. Okay. All right. So let's I'm just gonna um change the uh spotlight here. I'm gonna change my view. Well, it's not letting me now. Okay, just a minute. Okay, I'm going to just uh, go into screen sharing. What are you sharing? I'm just stop sharing, right? Stop sharing. Because I want to go back to me. There we go. There you are. All right. Okay, so I'm going to just, uh, Brenda, why don't you show, I'm just going to uh, replace the spotlight with you. Show everybody what you did tonight. <clears throat> I have two. They're not glued. That's mm -hmm. one of them. Oops. That's yeah, one. Yeah, they're of really them. nice, right? Are and nice. This, and this is my this was the first one. Uh that's look how beautiful it is. It's really nope. gorgeous. This was my second one that's when I was a little one. when I was a little smarter about leaving space and not cutting nice. my yeah. It's yeah. gorgeous. Yeah, it turned out really well. Nice. So you're going to make a whole bunch of those for your windows, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you need to at least make one more because you have to have three. One more. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm, probably not today, but yeah. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. Okay, Leslie, let's see what you did. So I'm just working on my second one. So the first one was this guy. Oh, it's really good. And it's really cool. I, I like it. I I wish it expanded in a more balanced way. Yeah. You know, some areas are, so I think that's where I'm going to have more success with a, a smaller yeah. one. So yeah. I just started doing this and I have curved my triangles a little bit. Oh, let's see what it is, And I have only cut the one side. I okay. have not worked on the second side of the design that's so it's kind of interesting to see what even just one side does and yeah. now it's making me wonder what would happen if i used a hole punch well yeah I mean, <laughs> <laughs> well when it's that thin you might actually be able to get a hole punch through it 
like yeah, a lot or you get through like a couple that. layers and then yeah i think that would be really cool yeah you could do some so. really interesting things so i'm excited to see what you're going to come up with this week because i'm you're going to have to show us next week because i know that you're going to perfect this <laughs> <laughs> oh she will definitely Maybe not perfect, but I'm, you, my floor is hilarious. Yeah. All these yeah. little triangles. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. All right. Okay, well, guys, thanks for joining me. Um, I'm excited to see if you do any more this week and uh, see what they turn out. I do like, this is the last one that I did with the, like um, um, with a quarter of a piece of photocopier paper, and that seemed to work quite nicely, so... I just yeah. is that the same template? Is that the same template you've been working with, or did you change your templates? No, I it's the same template as this one. So see the difference? Wow. That's a huge I, difference. Yeah, yeah, huge difference. I mean, this is pretty. And and maybe you know how you're saying that some sometimes it's not folded out the same. I can see it's wider in a couple of spots. So maybe if I played with it, it'd be a little yeah. bit more. Even. But this one looks more even and it's just, I can see the pattern much better. You can see the pattern better, but you don't have as much accordion action. Yeah. So now what happens if we use <laughs> quarters of a So if you do the oh, full I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. What I guess we'll, if we do yeah sort of just play with the proportions a little bit so I'm very excited to yeah. see what you're going to show us next week me too, <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> all right fight with Netflix okay. making a map yeah. yeah sitting watching Netflix and uh, making snow on your carpet <laughs> hey, thank, thank you Lord. Lord. Thank goodness. Okay, well, you guys have a good night. I'll talk to you next week. And uh, yeah, we'll do toilet paper stuff. Perfect. Sounds great. I'll have something new for us to do after. Okay, thanks, Karen. Okay. Bye, Leslie. Bye, Bill. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.